Thanks, like, and subscribe. What's going on, Crypto Nation? Ebonics coming at you with another video. And I want to remind everybody if you haven't gone on PowerToken.com, it seems like it's legit. So if you want to try getting some some free uh, Power Tokens, which um, I think they're handing out like a thousand dollars. Go on the, the site and check it out. If you're feeling a little unsafe about uh, using your Facebook link, then I would suggest creating another Facebook and making sure it doesn't compromise any of your other platforms. Don't use the same password for all the same platforms and uh, that way you have extra security. But it seems to be legit, so uh, POW tokens, um, you can get some free airdrop POW tokens on the website powtoken.com. So I thought that was something important I had to I had to keep on reminding people just in case uh, they haven't heard of it. It sounds like a pretty interesting proposition. It seems if you get your friends to get POW tokens as well, you'll be able to uh, transfer the tokens in between you and your friends, whoever have POW token uh, accounts on the site. So that's something that's pretty interesting. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about um, the mentality you have to have when coming into crypto, because it's something that, that people overlook. And basically the mentality that you have to have is one of, um, one of being able to, to weather loss. So you have to be able to, um, you know, like put it in your mind that you could lose something if you decide to invest into something that's something other than Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin, like I, I think that there is no, there's no like even if it's volatile, like there's no uh, risk in Bitcoin. As long as you have your money in Bitcoin, it's still, it's still good. It's still good. It's still, you know, it's, it's a good way to hold your wealth on you. So. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I feel you can make calculated gains with Bitcoin, maybe through investing uh, actual uh, fiat um, throughout time, like, you know, through a time line that you just uh, put a little bit in every single week. Or you could um, try to do things such as actually mining yourself or uh, cloud mining or whatever. Now, that, now there's BitConnect and I have a little bit of NAM and a little bit of Ripple that's sitting there that I might drop that in there because uh, uh, BitConnect is, is definitely looking like it's going to rise and, and, uh, and climb up the charts. And I mean, it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun when, when you start like uh, compounding the money and, and like, it, you know, it's, it's kind of like Genesis mining, but a little bit different and a different in, in, in a better way. So um, those are my plans for the future and you can definitely make, make the games, but you also have to uh, not fall victim to high, hindsight trading and, you know, um, really look at those things and not look back and ever ever regret any of the moves you've made in the crypto space unless you've lost like all oh, your money <laughs> but yeah the crypto space um it's volatile it goes up and down and the money is up and down but for the most part you can make some calculated gains given you uh invest in the proper manner so when you're in the space um my suggestion is you just get get some coins and try not to um, play around with them. Just just hold them and and see see if you make any gains from any appreciation. And then after that, if if you're willing to take chances, you put a little bit here, a little bit there. But you have to be willing to also take losses and not let that affect you. So a good game plan for anybody who's investing in crypto is to have the money set aside for crypto. And if you make gains, don't get too excited and just hold it down and see if you can save Bitcoin off the top and, and keep on rolling with it. And just have it as something that you can safely say, I don't have to worry about that money. And you might have fun with it because like, yeah, you might not be worrying about that money, but that money might be making you a whole lot more. So it's something that's very interesting. Yeah, if you haven't gotten into Bitcoin yet, create a little wallet on your phone, Jack, and and have somebody send you a little bit of Bitcoin. And it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. So yeah, the vehicle that is Bitcoin, I feel like uh, I'm going to start doing big things, especially this year coming up now that I'm getting Bitcoin at the pace that I'm getting it. So it's it's pretty amazing it's pretty amazing i think uh with the funds that i have i'll be able to start earning bitcoin and that is going to be fantastic because like earning bitcoin is where it's at like i remember when i first started um i was wondering where i could earn bitcoin and the only things were the 
faucets, but then I did the math with the faucets, and that's when I started thinking, man, what other ways is there? And then I bought the coins, and now investing with them is uh, pretty pretty good. It's working out pretty good. I mean, uh, with the math that I'm calculating within a year or two, um, if my new investment strategy works, I could be earning like uh, 15000 a day or something, maybe more. So, yeah, man, Bitcoin is... Uh, rocking and rolling right now it's brushing with uh 5,000 the all-time high it's going to stay at 300 and litecoin is uh at like 50 i think litecoin is going to go up a bit but um yeah that's that's why i'm at with this i might sell some mem some ripple and drop it into big connect big connect is trading on iota over jumped uh ethereum classic so yeah it's doing big things doing big things so yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it off at that. If you wanna get into crypto, set some money aside, some money you don't uh, mind losing. Just, it's not that you're gonna lose it, it's just that you don't mind losing. But set that money aside and start playing around with it and you will see if you like the space or not. I think anybody who puts it into Bitcoin and bets on Bitcoin and really depends on Bitcoin will like the space. But yeah, you just gotta set the money aside. You don't mind losing it and who knows before you know it, um that money might be making you more money than the money you didn't set aside and that you really have for your financial needs so leave it off that and i will see you in the next video peace